ladies and gentlemen, it's the Umbreon Messiah here. Welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening. I know it's been quite a long time, but I went on a vacation, so... Yeah, nuts to you all. Uh, anyway, before we get on with the uh, rest of the video and go to the Mysterious Forest, I'm gonna hang around Mabe Village for a bit and show you some of the sights and the things we can do before we head out there. Uh, right here, we're going to cut these bushes and show the first secret seashell. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, spoilers right here, folks. If you collect, I think it's... 22 or 24 seashells. I don't remember the exact number. But it's up there. If you collect that many and then take them to a house, you get the uh, level 2 sword. Oh dear, I've ruined the game for everyone. Okay, we're not gonna go in this shop just yet. Because we don't have the right item. Oh, well, actually... We what we lack are rupees. And I uh, apologize for the lag that my spinning slashes cause. I don't know how to stop it. I just need one more. Stupid bushes. Pay me for cutting you. There we go. Alright, now that we have ten rupees, we're going to go into this shop over here. Da 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 da. Okay, see here? This uh, is the trendy game. It's basically your good old-fashioned crane game. And uh, basically you hold B to move the crane over to the right, and then A to uh, set it down and pick up something. And what we do is we use this to get God knows how many rupees until we can get everything we need money-wise in this village, which really is just the shovel and this doll. There's a little secret, uh, if you press it right as the tip of the item is hitting the, uh, well, I could explain it better if I could actually point to the screen. Uh, if you press A as soon as the top is any, of any item is hitting the, uh, the leftward, si the leftward motion thing, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to get whatever you get. The only tricky part is the heart, because it's not as big as the rest of the other items. da 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 Okay, so that's basically how we're going to collect some cash to get the shovel and everything else. Uh, I'm going to cut some of this out because this is going to be pretty boring if I have to make you watch all of it. Alright, and we're back. Uh, as you can see, I now have 210 rupees instead of... Uh, well, I can't remember what the hell I started with when I last started, but... Uh, yeah, in case you hadn't noticed, I paused the video for a bit. Anyway, we have one last item to get in here, and that's the, uh, thing in the middle. Now, yes, that is Yoshi. You're not seeing things. Uh, come on, Yoshi. Get over here. Freaking slow! Anyways, this will drop this thing down on us. And it's a Yoshi doll! This is the first in this is the first item in the obligatory Zelda trading game. Basically you collect one item and then you give it to someone else and they give you another item in return, blah 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 blah. After you do that X number of times you get a really cool reward, and in this game it's actually a weapon. Alright, with the two hundred and one spare rupees we have, we're gonna buy this shovel. The shovel is one of the most useful items in the game, and you actually really need it in order to uh you need it in order to get a lot of the secret seashells. Now, a uh, cool note, you can actually steal from the shops in this game, but uh, it has the, the, the bad side of, um, it has the bad effect of causing you to be called thief for the rest of the game. Alright, and uh, this is where we do the first trade. We give the Yoshi doll to this uh, woman for her baby, and she gives us a, what I assume is a pink ribbon. I can't really tell in black and white. And this is Papal. Um, oh yeah, that's right, he had twins. <laughs> uh, he kind of has some uh, foreshadowing here where he's going to be lost in the mountains later, and he actually does get lost in the mountains later, and you have to give him one of the trade items. Oh, we're just going to go over here for a bit, and we're going to do the second trade. We give this little thing, which is apparently a girl 
bow wow chain chomp sort of thing in the bow, and she gives us dog food in return. It's strange, folks, I'm well aware. Alright, um, I'm gonna need nine more rupees for the next part, so I'll see you when I get nine more rupees. And I'm back! Uh, yeah, I actually required a little more than ten rupees to do this, but anyway, we're gonna do the fishing game. This is a pretty straightforward mini game. You cast the line in, and then you catch a fish on the hook, and then you tap A until you reel them in. Now, I have to, I think, get rid of two fish before I can actually get the fish that I want. Yeah, because I've never been able to dodge that fish. I don't know why. And these little ones aren't worth a whole lot, so... Yeah, the little ones are worth five rupees, the big ones are worth, I think, twenty. You actually lose money if you catch a little one, so try not to. Now, I think this is the one that has what I want. Uh, yeah, come here, you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not this one yet. It's the other one. Okay, but at least we made some money back. Why am I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it, thanks. Oh! Do, 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 This is not really as fun as it looks, folks. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, come on. I think I made a mistake here, folks. I probably should have done this the other way. Casting close instead of far. Oh, boy. I look like a dumbass. Come on, you giant jerk. Be interested in my fish. Come on! Urgh. So much rage. I don't think this is quite working out the way I'd hoped it would. Oh, great. Now I've got a little fish. That's just fantastic. <sighs> See, this is what happens when you screw things up, folks. Uh, well, I might as well get five rupees instead of nothing. Okay, let's try this again. Short cast. Gotta do this just right. There we go. That should be all I need. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And, of course, in case you hadn't noticed, that uh, reward sound means that uh, I just got something cool, and in this case, it's a piece of heart. That's why I wanted to do that. Oh. Alright, and then I'll see you for the last bit. Alright, and here we are for the last bit of the video. This is the third trade you have to make. This guy uh, grows and sells bananas, but he really loves canned food, so apparently that includes dog food. Uh, that's pretty disgusting if you ask me, but he'll give us bananas in return, and we're going to be holding on to those bananas till about the third level. And that's really all we have to do before the Mysterious Forest, so next video I'll be exploring the Mysterious Forest for you all and hopefully getting the key for the first dungeon. Some of you might also notice that this is my 500th video, and I said I was going to have something special. And to you people who were expecting something cool, um... Well, nuts to you, I guess. Uh, this is really all there is, and I'm sorry, I couldn't think of anything special to do, so we just did this. Uh, it's good to be back, and I will see you for the next video.